Hey, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. Um, this is a unboxing, deck review, flick through of the Star Child Tarot. Um, this is the Akashic version, um, indie version. Um, I think they're all indie actually, um, but there are several versions of it. Um, this is obviously the Star Child Tarot. I do have the Moonchild Tarot already. Um, I also have the Starseed Oracle. Um, and work your light oracle and I have in a minute an unboxing for the yogic path um, which I will be doing in, after this one um, it is all Danielle Knowles artwork it's absolutely stunning it's light ethereal star CD um, pastel crystal imagery and I absolutely love it um, yeah it's absolutely stunning so let's get on with the unboxing sorry about that I had to go and get my inhaler I was getting a bit wheezy for a second if i'm a bit breathless it's because i've had to take that inhaler um so yeah this is the star child tarot obviously the artwork is by danielle knoll um so yeah as you can see it's the akashic version sword so it has the cup on the top the sword the moon but obviously pentacle and the wand and then obviously it has the star child tarot created by danielle knoll I have heard tales that there might be a new deck coming out soon, so I'm kind of excited for that. Let's have a look inside. We are all stardust. Beautiful. Okay, so Star Child Tarot booklet that comes with it. I bought this second hand, so um, it has been thumbed through, So, but we'll see. We'll see how, how it is. Uh, a light worker's guide. The gorgeous image and then obviously some details on the back as above so below so if we go in inside cover 2016 copy right on this one contents and then it has obviously some moon phases there and obviously a bit there introduction uh, about akashic stardust and all of us the higher self um, healing with tarot, reading with the Star Child Tarot, inter internal forces, cleansing your cards, shuffling, asking the cards, reverse cards, additional guidance, tarot spreads and cutting your cards, keeping a tarot journal. I would recommend that to anybody about star seeds. And then obviously there's some tarot spreads. So you have a three card spread. In this case, past, present, future, but it has other recommendations. Uh, a Celtic cross spread, star seed spread, the Akashic spread, uh, the Metatron spread, and then obviously into the Tarot, uh, the Major Arcana, and then a bit about the minor, minor Arcana, and then obviously the suit. So swords, crystals, wands, and cups. So we have crystals instead of pentacles. Uh, court cards bit on there about them and then it goes into the wands so aries leo sagittarius the fire element a bit about the one suit then the cup suit the sword suit and the crystals and then more on crystals there uh, spiritual keys so it has chakras gemstones what else have we got guides symbols astrological and then about the 13 chakra system. Move your light at the bottom of that. And then it goes into the major arcana. So in this one, it has a black and white image of the card, the name, number and name of the card, the message, uh, additional meanings, a reversed meaning, and then obviously spiritual keys, so chakras, gemstones, astrological or planetary symbols and guides. And it does that for the ma uh, major arcana all the way through. Obviously, it's got the 22 Akashic records. And then it goes into the minor arcana. So it starts with the wands. And then each one has an image of the card in black and white, the name of the card, the message, additional meaning, and the reverse meaning. There's no astrological or other keys in the reference of these. And then we go wands, so wands, cups ace all the way through the court so we have page knight 
queen, king, traditional, royal court. Then it goes into the swords, crystals, and I must have missed the cup somewhere in there. Swords. Oh, did I miss the cups? Oh, cups were there. Cups, swords, and then crystals at the end. All the way through to the king, and then it has the characters of the star see tarot. Sorry, star child tarot. Um, and who modelled for each of them. And then a final thank you, a bit about Danielle, Noel herself, and then for more information, startiletarot.com. And then somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known by Carl Sagan. Stunning. Right, let's have a look at this deck. Okay, so it has the uh, matte gold gilding on the edges of the card, very similar to the Moonchild. It's slightly light, light, um, paler gold than the Moonchild. It's more of a harsh brownie gold on the Moonchild. Not, it's not a bad thing, by the way. Um, the back of the deck imagery is this gorgeous. I love this artwork. I love Danielle's artwork. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. Two of Wands, Three of Wands, the Four of Wands, Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, Page of Wands, the Knight, the Queen, and the king onto the ace of cups so we're onto the cup suit ace of cups the two the three four five six seven eight nine ten the page of cups the knight the queen and the king onto the swords, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, the page of swords, the knight, the queen, and the king. Onto the crystals, we have the ace, two, three, four, five, the six, the seven, the eight, the nine, the ten of crystals, page, knight, queen, king, then we're on to Starseed, Ooh. the Magician, the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Justice, Serenity, Wheel of Fortune, Strength, Perspective, Transformation, Temperance, Oppression, The Tower, The Star, The Moon, The Sun, Awakening instead of Judgment, and The Universe instead of The World, and Akashic Records. The deck itself is matte. There's no gloss to the deck. Um, no shine, sheen to it. It shuffles. It's quite a big deck. It shuffles beautifully. It runs over each other. It doesn't stick. It doesn't jam. It's a hefty deck. The cards are quite thin. Well, I don't know. They're quite thick. Um, not too much giving them. They feel a bit thinner than the Moonchild ones. 
um, but that's they're still hefty, weighty, decent size. A bit more square than a traditional tarot deck, but that's not a bad thing. Um, it's just beautiful. It has this light, inspiring, otherworldly energy. Star seed on the top. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It's enlightening. Um, it's beautiful. It's light, inspiring. It feels like it's giving you a message from somewhere that's very higher i can't explain it higher it's just amazing um anyway that is the akashic version of the star child tarot i hope that's shown you everything you want to know about the deck if there's anything else you want to know let me know um in the comment section thank you so much for watching i will see you again soon bye for now